good morning. It has been a roller coaster of emotions this morning. I'm just getting ready to check out because I need to check out like now. I am moving from my single room to a new room, but the new room won't be ready until 3 p.m. It's currently 10 a.m. Kind of good because it forces me, it forces me to go outside for five hours, um, but also I'm kind of scared because it forces me to go outside for five hours. I'll probably pick up like a couple things, but I don't know where I'm gonna go yet. I think I'm just gonna walk around. I wasn't very sure what to wear because it's like 28 degrees today. I've got leggings on. I feel like I'm going to be very warm in this, but I don't really want to brave going outside with my tattoos yet. Boofy breakfast was really good. So many choices. Wasn't very sure what I was eating, but hash browns, excellent. Tofu, excellent. Coffee, excellent. All the different pickles, vegetables, excellent. I, did, I had a jolly good time. I'm excited to move into my new room and get properly unpacked and settled, but for now we're going on an adventure. <laughs> Pretty much walking in the middle of nowhere. There's a nice breeze, which is good, and it's quite peaceful. <laughs> Howdy, howdy. Um, wow, my face is red. Let's just wait for that to calm down. I can't believe you've done this. I fear that what has happened to my face is that I have gotten sunburn. That's embarrassing if it is. I'm in my new room, which I'll give you the grand tour of in a minute. I ended up walking through the countrysides and then all of a sudden was hit with the busyness of a city-esque place where it was just really busy. That was quite overwhelming. I was just kind of roaming about endlessly. I didn't know what buildings to go into because I didn't really know what any of the buildings were. Also, I was out and about roaming without Wi-Fi. Last night I was googling supermarkets. Guillaume supermarket was recommended. I found it and I forced myself into the supermarket. I was like, Katie, your only mission for today is to just buy some random crap from the supermarket. I did. I felt very proud afterwards. But yeah, I was pretty much walking for like four hours. Let me show you my new room. Oh, sunburn is not good. Oh, Katie, what have you done? My first day of uni is tomorrow as well. Maybe that's where like my mask rubbed off my sunscreen or something. But then that doesn't really explain the forehead. There is the bathroom. Got a little space for wardrobe. Here is the bathroom with like this really nice big sink bit. Excited to do my skincare here. And then this. Oh, this is cool. Wow, that shower is different from the last one. That's exciting. And then bam, we have the kitchen. So I can actually like cook things and do things. The microwave. There's also, there's a fridge which I put two waters into. And there is a freezer. Wasn't sure if there would be a freezer or not. Now that I know, very excited about it. I've got a little stove top here. And then it comes with the same kind of teas and coffees and stuff as the last place. And then it comes with like really basic stuff to make a meal. So I have bowls and then in here there's like chopsticks, fork, spoon, knife. And then we have a little frying pan and we have a little boiling pan. All you need. That's pretty good. And then there's like washing up stuff here. Then you come through and it's a slightly bigger bed and a little coffee table bit, desk bit, you know, the usual. Let me show you what I got from the supermarket. I was very proud of myself because as I said, I was very overwhelmed. So the supermarket I went to was Giyomu. I'm probably saying that wrong. Just a disclaimer, I didn't have Wi-Fi or data, so I didn't have Google Translate. So I kind of just picked things up based on what they looked like. It might not all be 100% vegan friendly, but I'm hoping it is because the things I've gone for are kind of like, you'd expect them to be vegan friendly, but I do know in Japan they sneak fish sauce and fish broth and things like that into quite a lot of foods. We're just, we're living with it. My outlook on my eating here is that I'm just gonna try my best to be mostly plant-based, but not gonna make it that deep, you know? That's life, I'm doing my best. So these two things are actually two things that had the English on them, which is why I picked them up, because they're two things that I would eat at home. Green olives with garlic paste, natural pickled jalapeno peppers. The next thing I got was this massive thing of soy sauce. I actually tried to look for like a small thing of soy sauce, but I don't think, I, well that didn't exist in the shop that I went to. I spent 1500 yen in total. Oh, it's less than I thought. 
Okay, 1500 yen is about £9.64 at the moment. I thought it was like £12, but my estimate must be off. So I got all of this that I'm going to show you for under a tenner. In dollars, that is about $10.46, so around $10. So the dollar must be close to the pound then at the moment. Anyway, I got this massive thing of soy sauce. Honestly, I got it because... Um, it was one of the cheapest ones and it seemed popular. This was 148 yen, one dollar, which is about 95p. A litre of soy sauce. I will check the ingredients of all of these things after I've showed you. We have some rice. This is microwave rice. I think these three packs were like 130 yen, I believe. So again, like 90p or something like that. Now this Honestly, this was a bit of a random purchase. They have all these pickly things, right? And I was like, right, we're gonna try and get like a full meal here. So I was like, we'll get some rice, a protein source, we'll get a vegetable and we'll get a pickled vegetable. So the pickled vegetable that I have gone for is this. I don't know what this is. This was like 80 yen. This is the thing I love about Japan. There is like a plurifera of pickled veg. Sakura. That doesn't help us. It says it's good for accompanying rice. There is a translation. Pickled Sakura, good for accompanying rice. Lovely. Next was tofu. The tofu, I don't know what kind of tofu this is. There was like loads of different tofu. This is the one I went with um because it looked the most popular i'm pretty sure this was 48 yen four tax so let's say 50 yen 50 yen is like 35p for a block of tofu that can't be right but that that's what it said 35p for a block of tofu and then i got these because i just i know that these are vegan friendly these are the, like the only noodles that i know that are vegan friendly um, and it's the ones that I get back home. Nongshin, spicy vegetable gourmet flavor. Best noodles I've tried personally. I would like to try a bunch of other like actual Japanese instant noodles while I'm here, but I'll have to do some research to see which ones are actually vegan because I have no idea. <laughs> and then the vegetable, I went for mushroom, but not just like any mushroom. I went for these bizarre looking mushroom things. There was a whole aisle of mushroom things. This was like 95 yen, I think. This was a bit more expensive. This was like 160 yen, but that's not all. I can't believe I got all of this for under a tenner. The tofu would be like 2 pound 50 in the UK. I got an avocado, which was like 100 and, I think it was 140 yen, so just under a pound for an avocado. Soy milk. It actually said soy milk in English. And I was just very excited about the fact that it said soy milk. Also, I've heard the Japanese soy milk is like really good. Excited to try that. I might actually make a coffee in a bit and try that. But one last thing that I got because I saw it and I was like, it'll season my food, won't it? Tabasco hot sauce. I think this was like 170 yen, just over the pound. So this is all my things. I can't believe that I got all of this for under 10 pounds. In the UK, a block of tofu would be too. £2.50. This would be £2.50. So that's like a five pounds already. Also it's bizarre because tins of chickpeas here are more expensive than tofu. So tofu is really cheap but then a tin of chickpea is like 140 yen. I can actually unpack now because I'm in this room for the next two weeks. Wow. I'm going to put these things into the fridge. Okay. I was going to unpack but I need coffee now. I think I'm still kind of jet lagged because I got like three hours sleep last night. I should have got some like fun snacks. I guess I have olives but like I wish I had like crisps or peanuts or some kind of like is it mochi? Is that what it's called? I think quite a lot of mochi is like accidentally vegan. Mug. Coffee. What my life is gonna look like for the next three months. This is the most work I've had to do for a coffee in a while. Oh, you can smell the coffee. It's drip coffee. Is this like what Emma Chamberlain has? <laughs> I don't think I've ever used a drip coffee in my life. Open the perforations on the top of the bag. Oh, these perforations. What do you mean open them? Like this? Um, there's currently a lot of mess on the table. Hang it on the cup in three places. What sort of engineering madness is this? Three places. What is the third place supposed to be? Oh, here. How do I hook that on? Successfully hooked on. Pour heat for 10 to 20 seconds. 
it's like bubbling. Oh shit. It's like look at that emulsion. That was complicated. Do you just keep dripping until you have the amount that you want? I assume that's how it works. I think we've dripped enough. Right. <laughs> It's not um, cold yet because it's only been in the fridge like 10 minutes, but it doesn't smell of anything. But my smell's not great. Please don't judge me for drinking from the carton. That tastes good. It tastes like something. It tastes like Maltesers, kind of. But like the inside of Maltesers. That's way better than soy milk in. Oh, I should close the fridge. That's way better than soy milk in the UK. Oh, I've made the coffee very milky. Whoops. I'm gonna just try it as it is because I don't know what needs sugar. That is pretty good. Obviously, I've only gone into one supermarket so far. Guillaume, I think that's how you say it. I need to learn how to speak Japanese things because I just don't know. There was only soy milk. Didn't see any like, oh, you're falling. Didn't see any like almond milk or anything like that. I think other supermarkets do almond milk. So I will look out for almond milk. I don't know if oat milk's a thing here, which is quite alarming. I also don't know where the new Starbucks is. Anyway, this coffee's good. Do you want to see what else I brought to the land of Japan? I have organized my room and I've unpacked. Everything has a home, kind of. My options were limited. So, you know, we've got things there we've got things up there we've got things hanging up these are like the shirts and stuff i'll be wearing to uni probably my hoodies and stuff i brought three hoodies did not need three hoodies not at this time of year but maybe they'll come in handy in december i also feel like hoodies are something i'll probably wear to like breakfast i've kind of like dedicated this chair that that's going to be the the chair where I'm just random crap goes to be honest with you all of my underwear i've kind of arranged it in my small cabin case. Oh, let me show you my like skincare. Here's like my beauty station, all my skincare stuff. So I brought this all with me from home. I have my makeup and a stupid amount of tampons, <laughs> a hairbrush, hair bubbles, that kind of thing, deodorant, perfume, my rolly roll things. And then here is the kitchen space. The two other things that I brought from home for cooking. I've, I've got a little station up here. I brought Marmite. A British staple. And I brought salt and chili seasoning. I figured right as long as i have soy sauce and salt and chili seasoning or marmite i can pretty much season anything and everything and it will taste good now i have the option of hot sauce as well so that's like three different flavors there that i can do and i don't have to faff about getting like seasonings and stuff that is my humble abode listen i know what you're thinking casey all of that amazing groceries today what concoction have you made for dinner Listen, I have a problem, and that problem is being addicted to noodles. This is my dinner. I think they taste the same. Maybe a little bit spicier, but maybe I'm just thinking that because they're Japanese. Mm -hmm.